Hi, this is Mike Sweeney from Sabre Coaching. And I wanna to talk to you about a new approach to leadership development. This is part of my program, the Leadership Edge. The older days of leadership development, we had a lot more time uh, and we were able to build skills slowly. You can see the quote at the bottom that 40%, almost half the skills that exist in current workforces won't be relevant in 2025. I'm not sure how many of you thought you'd be learning prompt engineering and how to interact with chat GPT and other uh, AI tools, but that came upon us really quickly. So the older approach to leadership development in some cases is still valuable, especially for building foundational skills, but it may not be fast enough to keep up with the skill needs that we have. Uh, I've heard that the half-life of a learned skill used to be five years. Now it's about 4.3 years. So every time you need to um, refresh your skill. So the older approach really was, was content heavy. Um, would all get together, you get these big binders that you expected to, to understand, big manuals. There was often some sort of sage on the stage, a trainer who knew lots of things or, or someone maybe who was uh, further along in their career. Um, we spent time in in in-person multi-day events um, which were um, on site. Um, we mandated core topics that everybody needed to learn. And in some cases, that's good for foundational level training. Um, there were individual development plans that were based on a performance review where you looked at strengths and weaknesses. And a lot of times those weaknesses are things that you had to work on. Um, there was a heavy focus on the number of hours that people were given for training. And um, coaching was available at the executive level. And my experience in manufacturing, I spent some time uh, as a as a lean six lean six sigma green belt. And one of the things that we learned in that is how to identify waste. So if you think about waste in three buckets, where there are things that we do that are valuable to the client or the customer, things that we do that are valuable to the business, and then everything else. And if we're going to these multi-day events and we're losing 70% of what we learned within seven days, I think there may be some waste built in. So this, this older approach needs to be complemented by something new. So maybe there are some foundational programs, onboarding, et cetera, that we can still use this older approach, but I say that we it's time for a newer approach. Um, what I'm seeing work and, and a lot of my experience in, in online learning has taught me is that we need to make sure we limit and focus the content specifically on things that are in context with what someone needs to learn. Um, so for example, if, if someone recently has gotten their first direct report, then we need to make sure that they know how to have a good one-on-one, -on -one, how to build rapport with that individual. We need to make sure that they know how to set goals and give feedback, and it's in context of the work. Um, often I would look for key learning moments in someone's career, and if you see that learning moment, you have to support them before, during, and after. Uh, new approach has a guide on the side, so more of a facilitative approach to learning and development. Um, there's consistent skills practice and reinforcement built in over time. Sometimes what we're trying to do is combat this thing called the forgetting curve. So make sure that we're scaffolding and supporting with skills practice and resources um, rather than um, one and done programs. Um, we need to enable choice and allow adult learners almost to choose their own adventure as they're learning and give them the element of picking things that they think are most relevant to their work and make sure that the examples that we use are practical and, and um, they can see themselves executing these, these new skills. I um, highly advocate learning together with peers because I think you, you learn by teaching others and teaching back and then through experiencing other people's best practices in their context. Um, I see a newer approach as a heavy focus on application of skills, talking about practice, giving people less instruction and more opportunity to reflect, try, fail, try again, and learn. And then coaching available for those who want it, whether it's through peers, whether it's through um, manager coaching, but that's what I'm seeing as a newer, more effective approach that's a lot less waste. And that's one of the reasons that I built the Leadership Edge program. So if you're looking for something that is uh, lower waste and higher impact, then check it out. Thanks.